All right, today you got to replace a thermostat, cooling thermostat here. Uh, this one's a uh, Murray Control brand. Picked it up at the local auto parts store. I'm uh, gonna put it in this uh, 2005 Pontiac Montana. Uh, stick around to the end, I'll show you the tools that I'm using. This is right here. Uh, it's, it connects into uh, here and here. Just able to loosen, uh, loosen those up on both ends pull that out. Where we're trying to get to is uh, down here. Uh, and so uh, the next thing is taking off this part here. You got four 10 millimeter here to pull this off. You got two right here on top. Uh, one kind of tucked away back inside there and then the other one tucked away on this side. So four 10 millimeter. Bottom two are nuts and the top two are bolts. Any luck, this is going to just pop right off. Okay, so I'm having a bit of a challenge on this one. I haven't figured out how to solve it yet. There's a, a, a bracket holding a pipe on that it won't let loose. It's this bracket here that is uh, holding this on. And uh, there's the two bolts here. These are the two bolts that the 10 millimeter nuts came off of. And here, these fit on top of there. Uh, this doesn't have a lot of give, so uh, that was the problem getting that off. Due to the trouble I had getting this part off, I didn't get an actual shot of it, but here is a diagram of the part. There are two bolts, one on top, one on bottom. The top one came out pretty easy with a 13 millimeter socket with extension. The bottom one I had a little more trouble with. All right, so this back one is really hard to get to. Uh, it's, it's tucked way inside here. So it's 13 millimeter. Uh, what I'm gonna try is get this end on the uh, bolt and then i'm going to take this in and i'm going to try to pull it i wish i had one of the ratchet 13 millimeters but i don't have one and what i'm trying and what's it's working pretty well not a lot of room to get my hand in there so i'm i'm reaching my hand around this bar sticking it under using this to kind of press it on and hold it in place and now that it's loose and i can just use my wrist to, to loosen it up. All right, it's taking me probably, I don't know, an hour or so to get that last bolt out. Anyway, all I said is I got it out. Uh, here's the old one. Does look in pretty rough condition, especially in comparison to the new one. And uh, we'll be putting that in and putting things back together. Here we go. All right, well, this is day two back out on this project. Uh, I spent about an hour yesterday trying to get the pieces back together and could not get it. I went and bought a uh, ratchet wrench, 13 millimeter, um, that will hopefully uh, help me a little bit get this uh, put back together, but here's what I'm working on today. Here's the dilemma. We've got uh, this piece here, uh, which is the covering, the, the thermostat covering got this bar here that's still in the way. You've got the exhaust down here that's in the way. And I just cannot get this in and get it around. Uh, I just can't get it in and around and get the bolts back in. Uh, there's just not enough room. So that's where I'm st stuck. I think I, I finally got it on. Couldn't move things around enough to get my hand in there. Uh, in fact, this is not the exact bolt in size, but um, that 13 millimeter, which is about half of this size, uh, I end up having to literally tape uh, to my uh, socket, uh, my ratchet wrench, tape it in there like this so that I could hold it in place and then try to reach my hand around and put it in. I finally did get it, but it, it was really, really difficult to get in there. Uh, now we're gonna be putting things back together and hopefully that'll all go back pretty quick and then we can wrap this up. Okay, everything's back together. Refill a little coolant, lost a little bit of coolant. So let's crank her up and see what happens. All right, now we're a couple of days later because it took me quite a bit of time. Once I got everything back together and that initial run, ran into some problems, started getting some smoke uh, out of the engine and I wasn't sure what it was. Initially thought that maybe I didn't get the thermostat on properly and therefore the engine was overheating, worst case scenario. Uh, what I've come to find out is, uh, is this. When I was uh, trying to push out 
there was a time when I was using uh, my pry bar where I was trying to uh, had it in here and I was pr pressing against it to try to make space for the um, the thermostat housing, the cover. What I found was that I, by pr putting pressure on that side of the engine, I actually caused this hose, this coolant hose to leak. So I ended up having to replace it and that's what was causing the smoke. Uh, it was uh, um, dripping down onto the hot engine and it was causing that to smoke. So I ended up having to replace that as well. Um, that was for me a $10 part at um, auto parts store. So replace this hose here and uh, just replace those clips and uh, no more leaking. Uh, one thing I did, uh, some videos said to drain the radiator. I actually didn't do that, um, but I did take a drain pan and put it under uh, for when I was releasing both the thermostat, it leaked quite a bit. And then when I had to replace the bypass hose, it also uh, leaked a little bit and I had the, the pan underneath there. So um, just make sure you got something handy to catch the excess coolant and dropping out. You can go ahead and drain the radiator, but uh, I chose not to do that and felt like and it was all right. Before the test drive, went ahead and I checked coolant level, make sure everything was good because I did lose a little bit while during the process. So checked all that. So I think everything is good in good order and good running order. The test drive went great. I drove it for about 15, 20 minutes and seemed to go really, really well. So um, that seems like a success. All right, here are the tools that I use. I've kind of got them divided. This is what I used to replace uh, the thermostat, which is here. That's the part I bought. Uh, and mostly the basic tools are 13 millimeter uh, and 10 millimeter socket. Uh, as well as you can see, I ended up needing the socket wrenches down here. I uh, needed some extensions. Uh, because of some of the work that I was having to do to hold wrenches in place, I ended up using a flathead screwdriver and or uh, an extra socket wrench to hold wrenches onto bolts. And then I did have to tape it together once or twice uh, to get the bolt in. Then this additional work that I had to do, this bypass hose, coolant hose, heater hose, that had to be replaced. Um, it had, mine had these clips on it. Uh, I ended up replacing them with the, those. And that just required um, putting some, uh, you know, some, some wrench to, to pull the, the hoses off. And of course the screwdriver to tighten them back up.